guys, Vicky here, writing for Jesus. Um, I look kind of crazy because I just got out of the shower and um, I am trying out my new ring light that I got. It's like a little baby one that's like for taking selfies, which I never take selfies. <laughs> um, but I was hoping it would help with the lighting whenever I film at nighttime because um, these lights in here, I don't know, it's just kind of yellow and... I don't know, I feel like your videos look yellow and grainy and it doesn't look great when I film at night. So hopefully the light is kind of helping a little bit. Yeah, when I zoom in, like, if I lean forward, like, you can kind of see the white on my face. So it does look a little brighter. It doesn't look so yellow. I don't know if I have to film like this <laughs> the whole time. Okay, so um, let's get into my March middle grade march tbr so as y'all saw in my last video um i did the a to z rex and so um i really wanted to try some of those but uh, this month i i think it's crazy but i really want to try reading a book a day uh krista has done this um and yeah it just sounds really cool i just want to try it like just to try it just to say i tried it so, 31 books. Let's get right into it. So I purposely chose all my skinny books. So that shelf back there is a little empty now. Um, but I did try to mix it up and change up the authors and yeah. So let's dive right in. So I grabbed Jungle Book, pretty skinny. This is the kind of younger, shorter version. Adrift by Paul Griffin. Look at that cover. So cool. I have never heard of this. I don't know anything about it. So it's like about these kids like getting stuck on this little tiny boat in the ocean, having to survive. And you know I love survival stories. So. And then the library card. Magical library card. Loser by Jerry Spinelli. Oh, same guy. I did not know that. <laughs> I got this one at Book Exchange like months ago and I, I don't even remember where I got this one. Maybe from Book Exchange as well. I don't know, but I got this one first and then like seriously months later I got this one. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, so both like school stories. I love um, middle grade books where they're set in school and like having their friends and dealing with bullies and especially when it's from the perspective of a boy. Um, with girls, there's always dumb drama, but with boys, it's not so dramatic and I just like it. So. <laughs> uh, Titus, I do want to do this again. This will be a reread. It's been years since I've read it. Lots of thieves on the cross. Bob. Um, this one sounds like it's written really well. It's kind of like a weird, like, creature person, I think. And, um, this young girl, like, befriended him, and then she had to move. So now he's, like, really lonely, and he's, like, trying to find her, I think. Uh, Chantel recommended this, so. Chantel also recommended Neil Gaiman's Unfortunately the Milk. She said it was just really cute, really funny. He's, like, um... He makes like this whole crazy story about like why he was late getting the milk or something. Like he just makes up this whole story. Um, so it kind of made me think of Dr. Seuss and to think I saw it on Mulberry Street because the kid like nothing happens. He tells the dad or he's thinking of telling the dad, oh, what if I saw this and this on the road? And then his dad asks him like, oh, what'd you see? And he's like, nothing. <laughs> Making up stories to the imagination, so. The K by Theodore Taylor. Um, this was on my TBR in my second TBR game. I still have not gotten to it, so I really want to get to it. Just makes me think of Hatchet, which is another survival story on a raft in the water, so. Fun. <laughs> not for them, but for me. <laughs> and then and I Divided by Jennifer A. Nielsen. I really want to get to this. This is the shortest book that I own by her, and it is middle grade, so I want to get to that. Call of the Wild 
another classic that is kind of shortened, um, kind of dumbed down, I guess. <laughs> Junior classics for young readers. So, Girl of the Wild by Jack London. This one I'm really excited about, Flip. Um, this is the movie cover. I didn't know that it was a movie. But I don't really remember what it's about, but I saw the author, Gwendolyn Van Dranian. She wrote The Running Dream, and that is a five-star read, contemporary, um, just kind of general fiction kind of read. Oh, I love it so much. I love, love her writing style. So, yeah, looking forward to that one. And then I have to do a roll doll. I have so many of his books on my shelf back there. So, James and the Giant Peach. I saw part of the movie when I was younger. I never saw the whole thing. I don't love the whole clay animation. So, um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to reading it. This is a super short one. Yay. <laughs> Should be able to read this in one sitting. Jigsaw Jones. This will be a reread. Um, it's been years since I've read these. They are so cute. Just like solving mysteries with his friends. Like, ugh, so cute. <laughs> and then Storm Runner. I got this at a book exchange like ugh, a year ago or something. Um, maybe a couple years ago. But, I mean, look at the cover. Like, ooh. <laughs> Yeah, Drowning School Bus, so, um, another kind of disaster story, so, I've got a few of those on the list. And then I guess, I guess this is a classic, but it is Middle Grade, um, The Trumpet and the Swan. Trumpet of the Swan, sorry. I've seen people talk about it, I've seen people unhaul it, I've seen people say they love it, so, um, I'm not really into classics, so... I don't know if I'm going to like it. I have a feeling I'm not going to like it. I don't know. Just the illustrations and I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Oh, says I love you. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see. Oh, and then I'm excited for this one. Among the Hidden. This is book one. Margaret Peterson Haddix. Really, really want to try her books. I have a few of her books on my shelves. This is the only one I have in this series, um, but I have other books by her, and everybody says she's awesome, so excited. Gordon Corman, Ungifted. This is the shortest one I have on my shelf by him, so got that one. And then Brian's Winter. This is the next one in Hatchet. One of my favorite Moto Grade authors, Gary Paulson. And I just bought this at Book Exchange. This was in one of my book hauls. I think my second to last book haul. Um, Mike Lupica, Summer Ball. I don't know, just about this kid playing basketball. So I was like, sure, sounds cute. This one, this one did really well on BookTube um, a few months ago. People were all talking about it, kind of a Christian book and the robots in the back really gave me Iron Giant feels and that movie is incredible so yeah excited for that one it's a cool kind of adventure story oh I forgot I, <laughs> I forgot I owned this like I've looked at the spine so long for in my life I forgot what the cover looks like dude I totally forgot I had this <laughs> Science Fair Sabotage, Snoop's Inc. Kind of makes me think of like a Scooby-Doo, like these kids trying to solve a mystery, like that just looks really cute. And then another roll doll, the Twits. Little crazy people standing on their hips. <laughs> another Gordon Corman, this one is a little bigger, Unplugged. This kid goes to like this camp and there's no Wi-Fi, no nothing, and he's like, Ugh. so I want to try that one. And then another roll doll, Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator. I enjoyed Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, so I want to continue in this series or this companion novel book. A really skinny roll doll. <laughs> I try to pick like all my skinniest books. 
um, especially the super, super skinny ones, uh, the giraffe and the peli and the mini me. So I guess pelican? <laughs> I don't know. Somebody's name is on here. Ha Havren Neck? What? Havren Neck? Some Sharpie. <laughs> okay. Another roll doll. George's Marvelous Medicine. Cute little illustration. And yet another, the top secret missing chapter from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. The missing golden ticket. Excited for that one. And another, Fantastic Mr. Fox. Cute. Super skinny. Oh, another, a Gary Paulson. Uh, puppies, dogs, and... Puppies, dogs, and blue northers. Uh, ooh, nonstop action. Mm -hmm. Look at that cover. Look at the puppy. Please. So cute. This makes me think of um, Eight Below, that movie. Oh, I used to hate that movie. It was so sad. Like, so sad. I can't stand it when animals are in danger or die. I'm like, nope, no. I will watch people, you know, get murdered, but I will not watch animals die. <laughs> it's too sad. <laughs> okay, Gary Paulson. Oops. So I got three Gary Paulsons on the stack. And then finally, Roller Girl, the graphic novel. Um, I thought I could change things up and fly through this one. So, all right, let me count them up again just to make sure. Right. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, thirty-one. That's it. All right, so 31 books for middle grade March. Wish me luck. <laughs> and um, yeah, let me know what y'all's plans are for middle grade March. And I hope you have a great month. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.